I'm going to tell you how to get around the fact that you, in, in reality, are only capable of exercising so much willpower at any one time. We have to learn to live with our limits. And research shows from social psychology, it's very, very extremely clear research, it shows that we cannot take on more than three projects of any sizable importance at any one time. And if we attempt to do three really monstrous things, we're going to tax our actual ability to do so when it comes to our willpower. We have a finite amount of willpower, and so you have to learn to use it like any other energy source, capably, and you know, with a kind of sensible approach to what you can really get done. Now, I know that's hard for you if you're ambitious, and if you're creative, and you have a lot of ideas and a lot of projects you have to follow, and you want to follow them, but guess what? That's one of the reasons you're crashing into barriers instead of actually tapping your untapped potential. You're greedy, in a way, about how much you want to do at any one time. If you're greedy, raise your hand. Mine's up. I'm greedy. It's really hard for me to slow down and stop and say, here's one thing I really need to focus on. But I'm very well, very well aware of running into my own limits of willpower then the bad thing that can happen is you can attack yourself. Not only do you not capably finish what you're doing and you abandon something and now you start something new because it looks fun and the fun part's going and you're not in that grinding scut work part where you've got to stay with it, it's because you get interested in the fun part again. I understand that. But you can learn to work around this. You can hack this problem of limited willpower by sequencing what you do and only scheduling one major thing to pursue and doing it well. So don't have three major projects. That's the limit, but why tax the limit? Do one thing really, really well and put it to bed and make sure it becomes solidly a part of your life before you try to tackle another thing at the same time. I hope you really get how important this can be. Try it out. You're going to find out that you can learn to handle one thing really well instead of going off trying to do a number of things at the same time. Now, the research shows you can do three things at the same time. Be very careful about what those three things are and make sure you give space between them in a day. But I'd say, do one and do it well. That's the best formula I can give you. That's the best way to hack it. Since you're a high achiever, you may know about this. High achievers often hit a wall. They're going along, they're having one success after another, and then suddenly something happens and they grind to a halt. And it's confusing because they're not sure what it is they've done wrong, if it's anything. They just know that they're not moving anymore the way they're used to moving, the way they have moved in the past. If you've run into like what seems like a ceiling over you and you're kind of in a fog and you're mystified as to what's getting in your way, you can even kind of slide into a swirl of doubts and wonder if you've ever really achieved anything significant at all. And whether any of your amazing achievements that you've done were anything but kind of fronting or a little bit of a fraud. That is really negative and pernicious and it doesn't have to be that way. I want you to go get a free report from me. Go to drkenchristian.com forward slash breakthrough and receive from me this free report with action steps that are gonna tell you exactly what to do now to get you going.